Hi, Chris Leitenberg here. Today I'm in Fellows 305, and today I'd like to walk you through the two display monitors in this room. Go ahead and turn on the touch panel and turn the display monitors on. So the first thing I want to do is go ahead and open YouTube in my browser. So I'm going to open up Chrome, go to YouTube, and then I'm going to find a video about Mount Everest. And let's go ahead and click on that. And put it full screen. Looks good. As you can see, the iMac is displaying the same image on both display monitors. The reason you see the iMac in both display monitors is because iMac has been chosen on the projector and iMac is chosen for TV as well. Okay, so now let's say you want to have the video playing on this side, but yet you want to have something else displayed on this side. I'm going to show you how to do that. So I have the iMac projecting the video to the projector, but now I'm going to go over here to TV and change my input to laptop and then HDMI. So I'm going to take my HDMI cable, go ahead and plug it right into my laptop. So now we have the video playing in one screen and we can ask important questions about what we're watching in the other. Now, we've got two display monitors going, but if you want to use three, what you have to do is hit the Command F1 button. Now I'm going to drag the video to the projector screen. Then I'll pull up some notes on the iMac. Now I can look at my notes on the iMac while the students watch the video on the projector screen and answer the questions from the TV monitor. So now I've got three monitors working at the same time. I've got my video playing on the main projector. I've got some questions listed for a group uh, on the TV monitor and I've got some fun facts listed on the iMac. So I've got three display monitors going at the same time. Fellows 305 is available in the evenings to be booked for your use. Just remember also that all this furniture in here can be moved if needed. Although this furniture is movable, if you don't unlock the wheels, it's not going to move. So you need to unlock them. Now, and don't forget, before you leave the class, system off to power down. So, if you have any technical problems or if you'd like to schedule a classroom equipment training session, just call or email the service desk.